Then it's time to tuck in the mamas, huh? It's time to tuck in the mamas with the new blankie. Huh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He's a little mama. He's a little mama, huh? Yeah. Hi, Stinky. What? 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 I don't think I showed you guys the dog side yet, but they got a little baby tree and their little doggy picture. Punchy's passed out. Mama needs to go to sleep. Mama needs to go to sleep. Okay, go me, this baby. I feel like it looks so peaceful at night. A little light up stuff. Okay, I cleaned off this table earlier, but there's more stuff on it now. But this is pretty much the little light up garland situation. And then our tree's all lit up right now. We're almost done. We just need to get stuff stocking, our brown ornaments, and we'll be done with Christmas decorations. Eighteen days until Christmas. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys the new <laughs> moisturizer that I'm using. Um, especially since I am doing my morning skincare. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge 100 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. This stuff is seriously amazing. I got it back in November. A little mini travel one um, for my birthday gift and i have been loving it since so of course i went out and bought the full size super super love i really really love that and then of course i always follow it up with some sunscreen this is the roche posay um 60 spf this is the ultra light light fluid sunscreen i don't know i just really like this stuff because it's so like sheer on the skin it doesn't feel greasy oily none of that it just feels really good on the skin and of course it is protecting me from all the uv rays and harshness that is out there so i just put that on i've already done my eye cream which is actually a one that i've been using from ipsy it's called the sure medic uh perfection 100 all-in-one facial eye cream this I guess you can use all over, but I've just been using it on my eyes and I'm loving it. And then um, very first thing that I've been putting on is this Lancome Advanced Genifique. Love this stuff. I've been using it now for, I think, two, almost two months. Um, so I don't really know too much on the difference of like how my skin has been looking, but I did take a picture of my skin before use and then I'll probably check it in like another month so I can do like a three month follow up. But those are the <clears throat> new skincare products that I have been using and loving on my skin. This is also my skin in my first month of no birth control, my first cycle after no birth control. And I am pleased to announce that I've had like one, two, and then I think there was like a third pimple here yesterday. Three pimples, very small, nothing crazy, not like the crazy acne that I was once getting. So. That's huge for me, and I'm very, very excited. Cody and I are getting Blaze pizza for lunch. I'm excited. Are you excited, baby? Mm -hmm. I am feeling like making lunch, and pizza just sounded delicious. So they do have gluten-free options and cauliflower crust and keto crust, so I get gluten-free. I haven't tried the cauliflower crust, but I don't trust it because I have an aversion of cauliflower these days. So I just do the gluten-free crust and I think it's actually pretty good. It's pretty yum and if you put all the good toppings on it, then it's delish. And Cody gets the self-rising one. Delish. I got too excited and I already took a bite. But here's what my pizza looks like. I did pepperoni, ham, mozzarella, fresh mozzarella, spinach, kalamata olives, and red sauce. 
so beautiful. so i just finished taking a shower getting all nice and in my skincare for the night we're gonna do like a christmas movie and make some alfredo but i needed to film a little bit of content for youtube and so not youtube for only fans something that i have definitely been learning to love is sparkling water i've been drinking it like crazy when i film these because it helps the carbonation helps i mean y'all know i know how to burp but when i have some carbonation honey she's a burping queen so i just filmed i'll do a free one here <laughs> That is what I'd be doing on my OnlyFans. And it seems to work out. That's all I can say. I'm showing a little snippet here because if there's anybody on here that's not my OGs, because my OGs know I know how to burp. But if there's any of you on here that are not my OGs and have been curious on whether or not you should join my OnlyFans, that's what I have for you. Um, but yeah. I just finished packing too for Cincinnati, so... I'm just like pretty much just going to chill tonight and then we leave tomorrow. So it's going to be great. Okay, so the tree is finally finished. I just want to show you guys what we did this year. This year was pretty much all about the green, brown, and gold and kind of like these like earthy tones. So I got these little um, fake wood looking ornaments. And then I got these ones from Shein. These ones have ones that say, have yourself a merry little Christmas and then just have little designs. But this is pretty much what the tree is looking like. I think next year, I really wanna get like bigger bulbs because I think it would look so cute with like a mix of the big and the little rather than just these like small ones. But the tree is finally done. And then the first present is there for my secret Santa. But now we just need to get Steph's um, stocking and then this will be done. I kind of still want to put something up here. I just don't know what yet, but we'll see. Um, and yeah. Oh, and then I got these from Shein too. Like how cute are these? And then this is from Shein. That, those, I think that was from like, I don't actually know. Home goods maybe or something like after the holiday. Same with that. That was from like Kirkland. But oh, and then Jonathan added lights to this. So now this looks even cuter. I love it so much. But for now, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm just gonna start editing so that I can have all of these videos ready for you guys. Um try to like line them up with the same kind of lights there as we have over there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just basically edit so that I can upload today's video that was for yesterday, I think, and the day before, I don't know. And then I'll have one for today that's gonna go up tomorrow, but yeah, yeah. Cheers. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. It's finally Friday. It's the night, so. Today's vlog was day nine. I am freezing my ass off and we're gonna get ready to go to the gym. Me and Jonathan, he's in his car though. Um, gonna get like an upper body day. Probably gonna mix push and pull just because like I didn't go to the gym yesterday and the last day I did go to the gym, I did legs. So I'm like, let me just do some upper body, maybe a little bit of cardio, nothing crazy. Uh, just so that I get something in, you know? So I'm gonna, do workout, work, and then before you know it, it'll be time for me to go to the airport. So, um, yeah, I finished packing everything yesterday, and then we watched a movie, and Delisha made us dinner, and it was just a really good night. I did fall asleep, though, like, right, maybe, like, five minutes into the movie, so that kind of sucks, but at least I was there with everyone, right? Give me my quality time. Um, but yeah, so let's go get this one out. Here at the airport, waiting for our plane to board. <laughs> Are 
in Dallas right now and we are currently waiting for our next flight to Ohio. We have like 30 minutes before it starts boarding. 27 minutes. And then we'll be in Ohio. We're gonna get there at like midnight. But it's all good in the hood. I have to do some more things. So I guess I'll have to keep myself busy because Cody said I had to do it. He hates me. <laughs> but anyways, hello from Dallas. If you have a carry-on, place it all the way under the seat in front of you. Larger carry-on luggage goes in the overhead. Yeah. To Cincinnati! Oh. oh. We are here. We just left the airport. Well, we're still at the airport, but we're waiting for the Uber to take us to the hotel. And... Oh, you can see your breath. I'm actually... Ew, I'm sweaty. I'm not even, like, cold right now. I'm actually kind of hot because... I'm just a sweaty person. What about you, Ben? I'm chilling. <laughs> um, so it's already 12 a.m. here, 12.30 actually, but it's only 9.30 back home. So it's like, I just got another wind of energy, which is not gonna be fun because I feel like it's gonna be hard for us to sleep, especially you, because you go to bed at like 3 a.m. So that, that would be like 6 a.m. here. Yeah, you can't do that, Ben. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're gonna get to the hotel and I'm either gonna stay up and do a little bit of work because I feel like I need to get some stuff done um, or I'm just gonna chill, try to go to sleep early so that we can be well rested for tomorrow. So I'll see you guys at the hotel. So this is our hotel room. Nothing crazy, but it still looks nice and comfy. We've got the king bed going on here, little office space and then what I really like is the view out into the city. How freaking cool is that? We get to see out in their little like downtown area, I think. But yeah, this is the hotel. And then over here is just like the bathroom space that Cody keeps farting in. Oh. <laughs> And now we are gonna go get food. Wait, I like this light better. This has good lighting up in here. Oh yeah, that's the good shit. We're gonna go get some udon or ramen or something. I don't know, it all looks good. So we're here currently we walking around the downtown of Cincinnati. It's so pretty, you guys. I'm just like so amazed at how quiet it is for a Friday night. I don't know if this is like a norm or if we're just in an area that's not crazy. I'd be curious to see what it looks like Sunday when yeah. we're like at the game. Cause we're really close to the Pecor Stadium. So I feel like it'll probably be crazy. Crazy girl. Crazy girl. For the doggos. Udon with chicken. Cody got wonton soup. We're in Shanghai on film. Yeah. Yeah.